Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hey, hello, farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. Yep, we're staring at the big crones. The M and the X. Which we're going to use today to cut the field. The big grass field as we are down here in field number something or other. 40? Four, is it 40? I forgot what field we're in. 40? No, that's 40. 41. Uh, also, I did, did double check the pastures for the sheep and the cows this morning. First day of summer, they got grass in their pastures once again. So I'm not sure if that if they actually went through it or that was a glitch or something else. So I'll have to keep my eye on that. But uh, yeah, so they're fine for grass for now, both of them. So we'll just keep an eye on that. The cow's health up to 83%, which is good. Now it's summer. We'll get uh, about one new cow every day. Hopefully it just gets a little... So we'll probably end up with like six more cows. So maybe we'll have 62 cows by the end of summer. That'd be uh, kind of good up our production a little bit um we're not gonna get the entire in-game day done uh because uh, i was on the page i wanted to be on but uh the other thing we need to do in the in-game day this episode i think we might just focus on this but we need to plant our soybeans up here in field 36 slash 37 it's all one field now and uh need to get to fertilizing this field as well at some point but i think mainly we got to focus on here i want to get the silage or the chaff, or grass, actually it's grass, it's, not, it's gonna be chaff, that's from corn or whatever. But we need to get this grass to the BGA and get that fermenting, just in case there's a, you know, I don't want to miss out on a high demand for silage, the BGA. But it's early morning, 6.30 in the morning to be exact. And plus I want to use the new stuff, you know, we, we bought new stuff, I want, to, I want to be able to use it. See how it all works, you know, well I know how it works, but you know, I want to stretch your legs out. Get it up and running. But I definitely will be using GPS for this. I mean, don't really need it, but it helps keep the lines looking nice and straight. All that fun stuff. Uh, well, that's not the width of my... Is it? it should be 13.3 is what I wanted. Oh, it is at 13.3. That's good then. That is good. Uh, so we'll turn that on. Turn the mower on. Uh, I want to turn that on. I'll turn it myself. Thank you very much. And we'll get to mowing. Now, like I said, before we bought all this big equipment, I think the first time it took me like three hours to mow it. Because then we had to row it as well. But this, we didn't have the big M back then. So we had to mow it, row it and pick it up with the uh, uh, forge wagon on the back of the John Deere which was fine it worked but the John Deere kind of lacked in horsepower to pull 50,000 liters of grass back and forth it was hard to get up and go but yeah I want to we're gonna mow the grass and we're gonna pick it up using uh, our Volvo and our modded trailer that holds 200,000 liters, which will cut back on how many trips back and forth we got to make to the BGA, which would be nice. I think I did count once. It was like uh, pretty close to 20 some odd trips, which, you know, would equal if you do, do 50,000 liters per trailer. It was close to 20 trips with the other trailer. So hopefully with this modded trailer, we're looking at five trips. And it's not like the BGA is far, but it does add up when you keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But we'll see what we can get done today in the episode. I mean, I need to get all the stuff I said earlier done in the in-game day. Because it is a first of summer and we got to plant a field that, you know, it's going to need to be harvested at some point this season. Now I thought about putting the big M on a worker and uh, just get started away, started away with the big X and the Volvo truck, but I was kind of thinking more we'll mow a little bit and uh, maybe do a time lapse of the whole mowing and most of the picking up until we get near the end kind of a deal. 
That's what I was thinking anyways. And also I gotta bring the JCB over to uh, the biogas plant so that can get compacting on it as we're bringing loads over. Or I could just bring it over as we're done and do it that way. And put that in the worker as we seed the field up above and also fertilize our big field number 40, which I just saw. Not 41, but 40. And since we made all that money last episode, which was a big help because we got to buy all the equipment that we just about need. Uh, the only thing I kind of forgot, which I mentioned at the end of the episode, is uh, I was like, oh crap, I got a sugar beet field. I need a way to harvest it. So, um, I do have a modded harvester, which I will admit is kind of on the cheaty side. <laughs> and it's also relatively cheap as well. But I may actually pay more than what it calls for. I think the mod calls it to be like 60 grand and I'm thinking to myself no it needs to be more like 260 grand probably but we don't have that kind of money I'll figure something out when we get that far so I'm definitely not going to want to rent a machine I don't think because the hourly rate on that for that much of an area will hurt us quite a bit so oh, that's, that's a few episodes away before we get there one small step. Today is the, is getting the grass to the BGA so we can... Because now we have nothing to sell. I have no wool. Well, actually, we got one pallet. We almost got one pallet already, thanks to the sheep. Uh, other than milk, we got nothing to sell, really. And we definitely need to make money from this grass slash silage so we can buy those extra fields because all the fields we have now are pretty much set to run the farm and feed the animals. We don't really have enough fields to actually harvest grain and sell grain. We don't have enough stockpile. Even our big field, you know, we're... The field that we just, uh... Well, we sold a little rye from that big field. So, I mean, that helped us out a little bit. But, uh, now we're using the big field to help get some pig food going. Which, hopefully, in about seven in-game days, we're talking early fall, we'll have some cash to buy a full trailer. Because we got the full-size animal trailer. Get, you know, get a full trailer of pigs up there. And let the pigs start doing their thing. So we can start selling some pigs. But I, for, I don't know how many pigs that trailer can hold. I want to say probably 45 to 50. And we probably won't start selling pigs until the farm gets, you know, above 100 to 150, somewhere in there, I'm thinking. At least that's the plan. Uh, sure. Now you want to give me a high price for wool. Not that I have any, but you know I'm going to have to check to see what the price is. I think we sold it for 86. Oh, isn't that a kick in the groin? Oh, it's like a thousand dollars more, which is almost two. That's that's two grand more per pallet because there's two thousand liters per pallet. And how many pallets do we have? Something like twenty. So yeah, we we just kind of lost out on forty grand. But why would they have a high demand for wool when I just brought them like twenty pallets? Uh, well, you win some, you lose some. That's the way farm sim goes. Uh, we've been lucky a few times getting the, you know, the, the high demand from when we had stuff. And sometimes you get the high demand an hour after you sell it. Um, I do have one pallet, but am I going to bring it down for you get, you know... Well, it'd almost be pretty close to 18... Probably 18,000. The reason why I say 18,000 because it's not a full pallet, so it's not like I got 2,000 liters up there. But it's somewhere between 75% and 100% full because the pallet looks like it's full. <sighs> but it's, I don't want to say it's only 20 grand because we're still in the kind of the mode of where every little dollar still does kind of count. Although our farm is almost pretty much set. We only got to buy really one more piece of equipment, which is something for sugar beet. And I think I'm just going to buy that modded trailer and afterwards I'll have to figure out how much more I want to pay for it. It's too cheap for the way the mod is. 
and it's a wide harvester that's it harvests fast and it holds a lot more than it usually it holds a lot more than the base game which is what I want to say well anyways I think at this point now you've seen me mow for a little bit you're gonna see me mow the rest but it's gonna be a little bit faster because I think uh, it's time for a time lapse of you know mowing this and then we'll hop in the big X I'll have to set that up uh, my memory is not gonna jog me too much how to set set up for uh, the follow me trailer to go along but uh, yeah do enjoy the time lapse well I hope you enjoy the time lapse so I'll see you on the other side uh, after we almost finish up picking up the field
About an hour and a half into this job in real time. I could actually probably cut it down just doing it for an hour because I could just grab the big M and hire a worker to mold the field before, and we can pick it up while it's mowing it. Like we kind of did in the, I think the last time I mowed this field I just hired someone to do the big M and we started picking up right away. Because it took me 25 minutes to mow the field. And it's taken us only an hour to pick it up, which is a great improvement. I think before I started, I said it's four trips of the BGA. It's actually five trips. Uh, my math is a little off today because I'm exhausted. But either way, it's it's uh, just about five trips. So if everything goes well, it looks like it will, because we usually end up with somewhere anywhere between 950 to 975,000 liters at the BGA ish somewhere in about there and we can turn this off I believe I'm not gonna worry about the little crumbs here and there uh, the header is up and uh, actually the Volvo you can follow us back on follow me that's fine so the truck should actually have a hundred and fifty thousand liters in, in it just a little bit over So I think we'll probably just be under 950,000 liters when we get to the BGA. Cause I, I've been only filling up the trailer like 99%. I didn't want to be overfilling it. I, I missed some grass probably in the beginning. I was fooling around with some settings and... Yeah, I didn't... Uh, I was trying to figure out the correct offsetting for this field. I was trying to use my previous settings on another map and you can't really do that sometimes. Uh, you can... Nope, why can't you just stop? Nope, 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 nope. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. It's shift F because I'm in the wrong vehicle. Ah. Don't use follow me that much. To <laughs> always remember shift X or control X. And I was like, yeah, I'm in the wrong vehicle to be hitting control F. Uh, make sure those lights are off. I do need to buy the corn header for that, so when we do uh, chaff, not this year, but later on, uh, probably next season, maybe we'll have that big field over there. We'll do chaff in that big field and bring it over. That's a big field, though, for chaff, but that'd be a lot of silage. Well, we're just a little bit past noon, which is not too bad, actually. I kept it at times five the entire time, but it will allow us in the next episode, in the afternoon of, t of the end game day, to seed that field and fertilize. We got to fertilize a grass field now, and we also got to fertilize our sugar beet slash corn field. And on the second day of summer, we'll do the uh, two grass fields up above to make hay. So we'll have to cut those fields, obviously, uh, tet it, windrow it, bail it, all that fun stuff.
but we're going to end up with just about 950,000 liters in here, or just a bit under. As long as we're in the ballpark, because uh, at the beginning I think I had the Volvo set too far back for this map. It seemed like the Volvo was uh, having a hard time figuring out where, where 5 meters back was. <laughs> so uh, we may have been missing some grass here or there. No, 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 I wasn't paying attention to the unload part. Gotta watch that. When it stops, you gotta pull the truck forward just a little bit. Like that. Uh, well, 950,000, so yeah, I didn't miss too much. But now we're gonna bring the truck back. We'll put park that where the cows were. And on our way back, we'll shut the gate, but we got to go get the JCB and start, uh, we're going to put the JCB on a worker. And let him go to town. And we'll call it an episode, I do believe. Got to stop here on the way back to shut the gate. No cars are coming. That door should shut in a second. There it goes. Now I'll probably park this in the wash area because I'll probably wash this when I get a second. The truck definitely needs a wash. The trailer. Yeah, we only use it to pick up grass, but, you know, it's hooked to the truck, so we'll probably wash it. Uh, actually, I th did I leave the JCB at the BGA? I think I might have. I think I might have. Yeah, that's all ready to go. That's getting ready to go. I did leave it here. I left it in the back corner. That's why I didn't really recognize it. Alright, I'm going to lift the bucket way up. Actually, I got some grass that I ex... I didn't empty the trailer once all the way, and I hit Control-I to shut the door again, and I didn't realize there was like... I think there's like five liters of grass here. If I don't pick it up, it's going to annoy the heck out of me. Alright, seven liters of grass. Is it not going to... Okay, it's not going to dump it because it sees grass and it sees chaff and it's just like, oh, that doesn't go there. So what you do is just start putting some chaff back in the bucket. And now it's all chaff. And now it'll unload it all. There we go. Problem solved. All right, here. Step on the gas and hopefully this goes up the hill. Did you really have to get stuck there? Did you really have to get stuck there? Oh wow, there is a big dip there, isn't there? Alright, I need to fix this and I'll I'll see you in a bit. Alright, I do believe I finally got to where it's not going to get stuck on anything. It got stuck a couple times on me, so I had to compact it myself a little bit. But it's already 4% done. It's got a ways to go. Uh, well, it's 5% done. Uh, we'll let that go just for a second. Uh, so the animals are looking okay. What are the chickens? No, no, wrong. Right, right. Come over here. They need some food. Uh, so I, I think we need to take care of that. Uh, yeah, let's go over here. We'll, do, we'll finish that as last thing. Because if I forget and we go past midnight, we'll lose some chickens. I may lose some chickens anyways. I don't know how it actually works. Do you have to go at midnight and not have food and they die? Or is it done by the hour with no food and they die? I don't know. 
Well, we'll grab the New Holland because we can. And because I wanted to. And just shy of 10,000 liters would be good. We'll have to give them some water today as well. Luckily I checked. I didn't realize they were out of food. I was just checking to see how many eggs they had. That's all I really wanted to show you. It's like, yeah, let's see how many eggs they got. Cause that's like 20,000 in eggs they got sitting there. Give me the trigger. There it is. And basically I'll leave this right here. When it comes time to seed in the field, they should be able to take that last 272 liters. That way I have to go dump it back in the silo. Ladies. But, what we will end up buying eventually beet harvester and here's the mod actually it's only 69 grand uh yeah if you look at it, it holds a hundred thousand beasts <laughs> a lot of horsepower uh nine meter working width compared to the homer which is uh, uh four meters so more than twice the side size uh yeah harvest at 20 compared to seven so it's gonna harvest pretty darn quick but yeah i think i may uh change the price of that myself because I mean you compare it to what this machine would cost I mean you're talking quite a bit even this machine here yeah you're talking I mean just look at the pricing here so we, we may have to do something there because that's a little unrealistic so maybe over time we'll do agreement with like the bank or not the bank but the dealer that you know we'll pay 69000 for it and eventually we'll repay you know, another 200 grand dollar or something like that. Or if I have it, we'll do it that way. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll see you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one. <laughs>